Economic power is slowly shifting toward women, one leadership role at a time. Group of 20 finance chief meetings early this year only saw four female top-level participants, but that number is on the rise with women like Janet Yellen and Krista Freeland making history. Here to discuss the shifting power balance is senior economics editor Zoe Schneeweiss with Bloomberg News Live from Vienna. Zoe, thanks for joining us on Quick Take. Yellen is poised to be the first woman to serve as U.S. Treasury Secretary, and Freeland has been appointed as Canada's first female finance minister. Who are the other women who, who are changing the game right now? Um, if you look at um, international organizations, this year the European Central Bank for Reconstruction and the, sorry, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, the EBRD, got its first woman, Odile Renaud Basso from France. And also if you look at the World Trade Organization, um, that we they are in the process of appointing a new chief, and it's down to a short list of two women. So those both are quite impressive. Otherwise, of course, we had some changes already in 2019. We had um, Christine Lagarde, and also in India, we had um, a, a, first, a female finance minister. Um, overall, though, if we look at the numbers, it is still quite, quite depressing. Mm -hmm. You have um, very few G20 central banks that ever had a um, female central bank chief. And if you look at finance ministers, it's less than two, um, half of the G20s ever had a female finance minister. Wow. I, I do wonder, though, how we will see perhaps structural changes or at least changes trickle down. Because even though this is progress, economic power certainly still falls heavily in the hands of men. In the middle of a global pandemic, it's consistently leaving women worse off than their male counterparts. We see limit, women leaving the workforce in huge numbers here in the U.S. Um, how different do you think this picture could look if we continue to see power shift toward women? Um, there are a few more um, changes that could be coming. Um, if the um, OECE, uh, OECD, the, so the um, Organization for um, Economic Cooperation and Development, is in the process of finding a new chief, and you've got three women in the running there. You've got um, uh, the next Colombian central bank governor could be a woman. Um, and if you look a bit further afield, uh, further ahead, um, Jerome, uh, Jerome, pa Jerome Powell's um, term will be up in early 2022, and he could also have a female successor. So there is some hope there. But overall, there, every, for every woman we get in one of these roles, we do see missed chances elsewhere. Um, just take the European Central Bank. We have Christine Lagarde at the helm, but of the 25 rate setters, only two, only Christine Lagarde and Isabel Schnabel, there are only two women in there. And um, this year, when European governments had a chance to, at least in the executive board, um, the six-person executive board, get parity, they again appointed a man to that role. So for all the encouragement, there, it, there are a lot of setbacks. So I, I do wonder, based on, on your reporting uh, on this issue, at what point will, will this not be news? Right. At what point will we not be, be thinking of this in terms of, of, you know, parity and it just will be the natural way things are going? I fear that's still a, a while off. Um, one thing, thing to look at to see where things might be coming is to look at the chief economists in major organizations. If you have a look, the IMF has a female chief economist. So does the World Bank. So does the EBRD. So there, are, there is progress in this regard. But overall, it'll take years. And it, as, as I just, uh, unfortunate, and, and the names you see that get these posts are ones that you see again and again. So France has had one female finance minister, that's been Lagarde. Then she becomes the first IMF chief, female IMF chief. She becomes the first ECB, a female ECB president. Similarly, it is in a way significant that the first female Fed chief also will be the first female Treasury Secretary of the Yellen. So sometimes I feel like we aren't very inventive here mm. and just always think of the same few names, which is still quite disappointing. Yeah, a, a lot of work certainly to be done. Senior Economics Editor Zoe Schneeweiss with Bloomberg News live from Vienna. Zoe, thanks for joining us on Quick Take today. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.